first we are going to make involute involute is a curve phase out by a point in a straight line which rolls without slipping along a circle or a polygon we are going to start by making the involute of a square of radius 3 cm first we will name the square as a b c and d now we will extend the line ad here i have taken four points uh, here a and 1 distance between a and 1 is 3 cm and distance between a and 4 is 12 cm all these points are equidistant 1 and 2 is 3 cm 2 and 3 is 3 cm and 3 and 4 is also 3 cm next step is to extend all the lines first we will extend ab then bc and last cd taking a4 as radius we will make a part of circle till this point now taking a3 as radius and b as center we will do the same this side now taking a2 as radius and c as center we will make an arc over here now taking a1 as radius and d as center will repeat the same at this point here the involute of square is ready now we will make involute of a triangle here this is an equilateral triangle and the side is 3 cm now i will extend the line bc here i have taken three points c1 is 3 cm 1 2 is 3 cm and 2 3 is 3 cm now we will extend all the three vertices now we will take c3 as radius and c as center and make a part of circle now taking c2 as radius and a as center now taking c1 as radius and b as center the involute of the triangle is ready the crank oa is 2 cm long and connecting rod ab is 10 cm long the end b moves along a straight line passing through o Trace the locus of point P 4 cm from A along the length of AB for one revolution of OA. As given in the question, OA is equal to 2 cm, AB is equal to 10 cm, and the point P, the locus of point P is equal to 4 cm this is the circle of radius 2 cm next step is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts here i have named the circle as a1 a2 a3 till a12 now we will extend the radius o a1 here i have taken the point b1 as it is given ab is 10 cm as taking a1 and b1 as radius and all other point as center we will cut arc at the line a1 and b1 
now we will join a2 a12 to b2 a3 a11 to b3 a4 a10 to b4 a5 a9 to b5 a6 a8 to b6 as given locus of point p is 4 cm so we will take 4 cm as radius and make an arc on the line for example here a2 is joining b2 so we will make take a a2 as center and make arc on the line a2 b2 and do, we will do this respectively with every point Here these are the points which we got. Now we will join them using French curve or freehand. This is the required curve. 